What's up everybody, welcome to Technically Analytics. Marcus Stroman is a player that I'm familiar with because of his time with the New York Mets. In those two seasons for the Mets, Stroman was the workers of the rotation. DeGrom was injured a lot, and the Mets didn't have as many viable starting pitching depth as they did. Stroman left for the Chicago Cubs after 2021 when he signed a three-year, $75 million deal with the third year being a player option. Luckily for him, the Cubs have decided to add a random. Let's take a look at how Stroman started this year in 2023. I'll spoil it and say he's doing very well. Currently, Stroman has an ERA of 385, with a 359 fielding independent pitching and a 1.236 whip. More impressive than his ERA plus of 119 is his .6 home run rate. In the first four starts, you can see that his ERA is .75. Stroman was off to a hot start. He's only allowed two runs, 10 walks, and four starts. Once again, we should know it's very early season. The game that he gave those two runs gave him his only loss to Seattle. Since then, his ERA has fluctuated between 2.5 and 3.5. It's a pretty impressive season so far. Let's see his game log, shall we? His first two starts are the most impressive. Milwaukee and Texas have proven to be two of the better early season teams, both in first place at the moment. It's also impressive that he's gone six innings in each appearance. You see the Seattle start, which inflates his ERA to one, where he allowed five hits nearly double that of any other start thus far. Let's deep dive into one inning of a Stroman start in the top of the fourth, facing Colton Wong. Stroman throws him a 92 mile per hour sinker, which Wong hits straight to second base for the first out. Stroman then faced J.B. Crawford and threw him a 91 mile per hour cutter to force a flyout. For the final out, with another sinker, Julio Rodriguez grinded out to second. This is a typical Stroman inning. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts or whiffs, but he is one of the better ground ball pitchers in the league. He got 3 outs on 12 pitches. The last start against Oakland can be safely ignored because that team is triple A talent. Overall, Stroman has been impressive. Let's get into his pitch mix to see what's working. It's pretty clear that nearly all his pitches have been super effective. But if you look over to the right, you can see which pitches might be getting hit more often. For example, Slurve and Cutter are still effective with Woba at 294 respectively. Woba is weighted on base percentage. These are still good numbers, but especially for the Slurve when it does get hit, it gets hit hard at 41.4%. I found a video highlight of Eugenio Suarez getting a hold of a sinker which has a 45.3 hard hit percentage and a Woba of 322. Suarez hit it for a single and an RBI. Suarez really went out to hit in the bottom corner of the zone. I think it's more credit to Suarez than a bad pitch by Stroman. Overall, I like what Stroman has been doing the past few years. He's proven to be very durable after a few years of injuries. Stroman continues to be consistently good, if not great, with the Cubs. The Cubs currently have a 67% chance to make the postseason. They even have a shot at the division. Thanks to Stroman's strong performances all season, I will be rooting for Stroman if the Cubs can make a run in the playoffs. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel.